Hello, my name is Rebecca Richardson, but most people call me Becky, and welcome to September's Chat With Me video. If you're new and you don't know what this video is, it's just kind of something I do once a month to kind of have an honest chat with the camera, <laughs> I guess, uh, and just catch people up on the things that I've been doing over the last month and my thoughts and just like anything that's going to be changing to do with the channel or my life or yeah <laughs> thankfully we don't have too much to discuss i think the biggest thing that's happened is i just went back to school i'm in my last year of a levels now so like other than that i haven't really been doing anything because that's just kind of like what takes up the most of my time thankfully actually running this channel hasn't been too hard whilst i'm at school i was a bit concerned in like august that it was going to be really difficult to keep this up and also <laughs> do my a levels because i started this channel in or the end of May, at which point I'd actually finished school for the year. And so like, I, this is the first time I've had to continue doing this whilst also doing all of my schoolwork and things. And thankfully it hasn't been too hard. It's probably going to get harder because I pre-recorded most of September's videos in August. So as they've been coming out the last few weeks, I've just been letting them come out. I haven't had to do much. This is actually the first time this month I think I've sat down and filmed a video. And it will definitely get harder as the end of the year goes on, especially after October because November and December are going to be absolutely hectic <laughs> for me. And even for this channel, I guess, uh, with some of the things that I have planned. But for now, we're just kind of like, dealing with it we're just kind of flowing along and yeah it's all going fine <laughs> so far so far it's all okay i'm actually still filming a week in advance which is great i was a bit concerned at this point i'd be filming now editing this afternoon for it to go up tomorrow but it's not this video will be going up next wednesday <laughs> from when i'm filming it now so like i'm still i'm still doing well i'm still slightly organized everything's okay <laughs> like i said though that's probably not gonna last especially when november hits but you know we'll see <laughs> also sorry if i sound a bit weird or if i'm talking quietly this is a very tight hood. <laughs> my ears don't have much room to breathe. So I can't like hear <laughs> very much outside of like this kind of muffled sound going on here. This is a unicorn, by the way. This month's onesie. This is my only last onesie left, so we'll we'll be going back to the beginning <laughs> next week. I'm not I'm not that excited. I don't have that many onesies. Other things related to this channel and my thoughts on it currently. Things have been a bit difficult. I think I've kind of hit my first challenge on here which is literally just down to the fact that there's been a very sudden drop in like interaction like my views have dropped i've been getting a lot less comments subscribers i'm losing subscribers quicker than i'm gaining subscribers because i'm not gaining subscribers <laughs> at all we've been stuck roughly between the same three numbers for about like a month now and i'm trying not to let it get to me i'm trying just to like plod along and like i'm sure we'll eventually we'll go back up at some point but it's definitely the first challenge i've had with this channel of like something that i have to actually physically come over other than right at the very beginning of this channel when i was struggling with my confidence this is definitely a knock to my confidence that i wasn't expecting to face this early on but you know we're just plodding along we're getting there we're dealing with it i have like let myself a few times just sit in front of the computer and just stare at the analytics and be like why do you look like that <laughs> what am i doing different what's wrong with this channel but I'm just not letting myself do that now because it's fine. <laughs> Everything's fine. I don't I don't have an explanation for it, but speaking to other people, I don't think it's me at the moment. So like, I, I don't know. <laughs> Maybe we're all just in it together for some reason. But for that reason, I have been trying to kind of change up the things I'm doing because I'm wondering maybe if it's like the kind of videos I'm putting out or something. Uh, so I am looking for the next few months to not change up what I'm doing exactly, but kind of like just coming up with video ideas that I think might get a bit more traction than currently uh again nothing different i'm not going to suddenly start like i don't know reacting to bts or something <laughs> you know i could but i'm not going to still like what i do but maybe it's videos that people are more likely to want to watch i don't know i don't know we're just rolling with it so if you have any ideas actually if there's something you'd like to see or something that you think is doing well that i could do again something related still to what this channel's about uh, please do leave a comment um because i'm just trying to work out the difference in subscribers and views at the moment and how I can close that gap a bit and make my content something that people want to watch. <laughs> I do sometimes wonder if it's got something to do with the quality of this, actually. I film on what would now be classed as quite an old camera, to be fair. I film on a camera, like a, a proper like Canon camera that I got years ago <laughs> now like i've had this camera a long time when it came out i was like oh my god it was like the like up-to-date camera was really great now it's old now it's like the the actual quality 
on this camera is worse than my phone. Sometimes I consider just filming on my phone because the quality is better on my phone camera than it is on my actual camera. Uh, but I read my cameras, well, my phone's here. I, I read off my phone, so I couldn't really do that and get away with it. However, that being said, the quality probably won't be changing anytime soon. I was considering with Christmas coming up and my birthday coming up, sort of maybe like asking for a new camera or something, but I've decided not to because I want to make sure that I'm definitely in this for the long run before I start, like, getting more equipment and things so if we're still at this in like a year's time you might suddenly see an amazing change in the quality <laughs> you never know because it is definitely something that bothers me when i'm editing it and i'm like god your face is blurry <laughs> so like at some point you never know one day it might change however as far as actually what you can see visually goes there will be some changes coming soon because I might be changing bedrooms <laughs> in the house at the moment if you see my vlogs you can probably tell that I basically my bedroom's just a very large shoe cupboard, <laughs> really. Um, my sister has the big bedroom next door, she's 11. And that was done originally because, like, she hangs out with her friends and stuff in there, so they were like, you know, she could have the bigger bedroom, she owns more stuff. But as time's gone on, we've realised that I physically cannot live <laughs> in this small space. I spend most of my time in here, and bearing in mind I have, like, a whole desk and stuff to fit in here, on top of the fact that I had to get rid of most of my books because I can't fit a bookshelf in this space. Yeah, we've just kind of found over the last year that me in this space doesn't really work because there's a lot <laughs> going on here. So my sister is moving in here, which she's very excited about because she gets to have, like, a cool high bed and stuff, and I'm having her bedroom, which means that obviously the background you can see now will be changing. It won't just be this <laughs> in the bears anymore i don't know what i'm gonna do like with the change to this i was considering trying filming standing up because an issue i have sitting down is i have to cross my legs all the time because i move a lot so if i don't i'm constantly just doing this on my chair and swinging it around all the time so i did think maybe filming standing up would help me in some way because then i can sort of wander around and move a lot without it being too much of an issue because i'm not just swinging a chair <laughs> all the time. I don't own a tripod and like I've said I don't really want to be buying things for this channel yet. So we'll probably just still be sat down. I might sit on the end of my bed because my desk is going to be the end of my bed so we can still work with what we have now. So yeah you might you might see a sudden change coming soon. I don't know how it's going to go but it'll, it'll, it'll be fine. <laughs> Other things to discuss. Let's talk about my last video actually for a moment. My last video uh, that'll be out by the time this goes up is the video about my self-published books and I actually just edited that and uploaded it yesterday uh, and I'm nervous about it. <laughs> I don't know why because I'm just not expecting anybody to watch that kind of thing but my issue is that somebody will watch it and then they'll look for the books and then they'll be like wow this is bad and I <laughs> don't want that. <laughs> so my name, the reason I made that video is because I wanted to be able to like talk about them more freely without worrying that people are going to be like asking me about them and I was like if I just do a video just explaining everything, getting it all out there, then I could just talk about it from now on and nobody's gonna be like, what's that? I can just be like, just go watch the video, <laughs> you know? But yeah, I am definitely nervous about it and I don't I don't know why. I think it's just because the, of the judgment that could come. I'm not actually expecting anybody to want to read them. I kind of put the links there just in case, so again, if anybody wants to, I don't have to then like start giving out links and things. It's just there, it's all in one place. I just have to like, leave it step back and just let it do its thing kind of thing i'm not expecting anybody to want to pick them up i'm just concerned that if somebody does <laughs> they're gonna hate them and then i just yeah it's a lot of judgment that could go on me even though as i mentioned in the video i don't really see my self-published work and even the one that's yet to come out as something that represents me as a writer now but it is it's just something that i worry about <laughs> i am however moving on from this series soon it will it'll be going on into the beginning of next year because i need to have it edited by november and then it goes away to an actual editor and then i'll be editing it again in the new year so like it's going on for a while however when it's with an editor over november for NaNoWriMo i'm going to be starting my fourth book which is going to be completely separate and I'm not going to be self-publishing it. It's something I'm going to be working on probably for the next few years and it's something I'd like to query with one day. <laughs> Maybe. I feel like I can't say that because especially within certain groups I think and just a lot of like writing communities in general, people who are younger writing is kind of seen as something that shouldn't happen which I always find a bit weird whenever I look up videos that's like writing advice for teenagers instead of getting actual advice I need to be seeing I tend to just get people going come back to it when you're in your 30s and then it'll be good and like 
I don't get that. <laughs> I do know, obviously, as someone who's only 17, that I have a long way to go and my writing's not great and I'm always looking for ways to learn, which is why I'm always looking up advice videos that don't give advice, apparently. Like, I do think that over the next few years, hopefully I can get to a point where I can look at querying and it can maybe work out <laughs> eventually. I'm also looking into not queer writing classes because I live in an area where there is no queer writing classes. There isn't any book clubs. Or there's there's nothing. I'm on my own <laughs> completely. But maybe some like online writing classes. Just I just need to make sure I get the right level because like I'm not a beginner. I've never had lessons, but I'm not a beginner. A lot of the advice I look up when it's like advice for teenagers or advice for like new people in the industry kind of thing it's always like the the stuff that I covered years ago the stuff that I already know and I need like the next level now I need to kind of be learning more about the like actual specific jargon that I hear people using when they're talking about writing that I'm like what does that mean and more sort of honing in on plots and characters and character arcs like the next level of craft that I don't seem to be able to find in videos that are sort of aimed at people my age kind of thing. So that is something I'm looking into and it's something that you might see if you watch my NaNoWriMo vlogs because that's something I'm going to be doing. I'm vlogging the whole of November. November itself is going to be stressful and this is something you're going to hear me talk about next month as well and then in November <laughs> and then probably in December too even though it'll be over by then. It's just the stress I'm going to be under that month because not only am I writing 50,000 words, I'm also doing my coursework, attending my classes. There's two books I need to read and review that come out that month. I also have to read. <laughs> That's something I just have to do in my day-to-day -day life. Read and uh, sleep. <laughs> at some point, I have to sleep that month. And looking at the amount I have to do, I don't know if sleep is going to be something that I achieve during November. But I'm very excited about it. I'm really looking forward to starting this new series. There will, at some point, probably in October, there will be a video about my nano project and what that is going to be about, which I'm so excited. I'm super excited about it and the new characters and everything. It's just, I don't, I don't even know. It's just, I've been writing my like self published series since like I was 12. This has been going on for like five years now and I'm really looking forward to moving on to something new because it does feel like it's holding me back a lot now because it's like like I've said it's not what I want to represent me as a writer, it's not my style anymore and I am really looking forward to moving on to something new that I want to represent me now. Uh, it's just yeah I'm very excited <laughs> about it. We'll see in November I might be completely different, I'll probably just be stressing because I can't make it right, like it's gonna be completely different but for now excitement <laughs> but i do think that's pretty much everything i have to say for this month and like i said not much exciting has really happened this month i suppose that's all i have to say uh the rest of this month there'll only be one video coming out after this i believe and then in october there's going to be mainly a mix of like preptober videos where i talk about uh, my planning process and what i plan to do in november for nano and also some like spooky videos i'm hoping to do a pumpkin carving video kind of like in the style of the baking one but like carving pumpkins instead and there's like a little crafty video i have planned and just some other like fun like spooky-ish like halloweeny vibe videos that i would like to do so that'll be like mainly what's happening in october november is going to be an absolute mess we won't even discuss it and then there's some exciting things <laughs> hopefully coming in december which is another thing i have to prepare for in november actually yikes but yeah i think that's everything i have to say there are people looking at me out of the window because i'm in a onesie talking to supposedly nobody from the view of the window uh so yeah we're gonna call it a day here i think thank you so so much for watching especially if you made it all the way to the end of <laughs> whatever this was please do leave a comment if you have anything that you'd like to see maybe on this channel or i don't know just anything just 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 comment give help me <laughs> but other than that i will see you very soon bye